Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, back in action. How are you today? Hello. Hello, Roberto. How are you? Hi, Roberto. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. Great. How are you too? I'm very good here, you know, working hard. <laughs> are you ready for your English class? Yes, ready. Hello, Eduardo. All right, so we're going to be working from the next section in the class, which is coming from section number 5.5, .5, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will be able to understand rising and falling intonation in yes, no questions and WH questions. Al finalizar esta clase, ustedes serán capaces de comprender la Tonación creciente y decreciente en las personas con respuesta corta, sí y no, y preguntas interrogativas WH. Listen, please. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn about rising and falling intonation in yes or no questions and WH questions. Let's get started by understanding intonation. Pitch is raising and lowering the tone of voice while speaking. The use of pitch is called intonation. Understanding English intonation will increase not only your spoken English competency, but your English comprehension as well. Intonation is used to convey meaning. For example, you have the same set of words in two separate sentences, but in one the meaning may be different than in the other due to intonation. In this class, we'll focus on yes or no questions and WH questions and how intonation gives meaning. Let's listen and practice. Notice the intonation of yes or no and WH questions. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Well, there are many exceptions and rules to follow. In general, we can follow these two simple rules. For yes and no questions, there will be a rising intonation. For example, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? For WH questions, there will be a falling intonation. For example, what's she doing? What are they doing? This topic, along with all the other pronunciation topics, require careful listening and to practice. I would like for you to listen carefully to your favorite English TV program and notice the rising and falling intonation of yes or no questions and WH questions. All right, so for this activity guys, what we're going to do is we're gonna be looking at this section down here and I want you to give me 10 W H questions and closed questions with the following intonation. 10 questions 
10 examples. Do you understand? Do you understand? No, no entendí. Ok, me van a dar 10 ejemplos utilizando el eh, estructura del closed questions. Por ejemplo, aquí. Pregunta cerrada y respuesta you cerrada. Pay. Eh, pregunta cerrada y pregunta abierta. Por ejemplo, si yo te pregunto, ¿Is she getting up? ¿Esa es pregunta cerrada o abierta? Eh, es cerrada. Abierta. Eh, es cerrada porque la respuesta solo sería, yes, she is o no, she isn't. Pero si yo te pregunto, what's she doing? ¿Es pregunta cerrada o abierta? Es abierta. Abierta. Abierta, porque ahí tienes que decir, she is cooking, she is learning English, she is studying. So me vas a dar cinco preguntas con cinco oraciones de respuesta eh, con la pregunta cerrada y cinco con la pregunta abierta. I'm going to put you in pairs to practice together. Les voy a dar 10 minutos para que lo hagan y después vamos a chequear juntos. 10 minutos para que trabajen en esta actividad. Let's go. Hello. Hello, Dinora. Eh, estás trabajando tú sola. Uh, había aparecido con Jocelyn, pero ya no, ya no está. Ah, ok. Tal vez se le, <risa> se le cayó la red. Bueno, ya te voy a ubicar aquí con, eh, vamos a ver, con Naomi y Renberto. Ah, sí, Jocelyn ahí está, pero no se ve conectada. Tal vez se le cayó la conexión, igual que a mí ayer. Sí. Está Dinora para que trabaje con ella. Oh, sí, Gracias. somos ustedes. Hola, Dinora. <risa> buenas noches. Hola, buenas noches. Buenas noches. Ahorita estamos en la 5.6. Dar... 5.6. Sí. Vamos a dar ejemplos de... Es que sí, hay que hacer nosotros las la preguntas. O sea, nosotros mismos, la, la, los ejemplos. ¿Qué módulo es el 5? Pero, y hay, que, y hay que hacerlo en la plataforma. Sí, creo que está. Eh, no sé si nos repartimos las 10 y 10. Si ¿Sí te parece. Hola. Hola. Hello. Se supone que está trabajando con Kevin Hernández, pero Hola. no veo a Kevin sí. respondiendo. Hola, Kevin. Hola. Se me ha desactivado el, el audio. All right. Voy a poner... Le decía al compañero a Patty con ustedes. 
Ok. Ok. Are you learning, learning English? Hola. Are you learning English? Eh, sí, creo que sería cerrada. Uh que podemos poner eh, en la pregunta cerrada está estás jugando sí se puede you are playing sí es cerrada porque solo diría yes solo di Uy. ajá ajá solo diría yes allá contestaría nada más verdad yes sí. allá yes allá eh, podemos poner otra como por ejemplo está yo que no voy a inventar está um, corriendo you are running ajá también porque es cerrada you are running Ahí puede, si, si uno desea, puede contestar no. No, uh, no ¿qué? Para decirle que no, no estoy corriendo. No, hay no, tendría que decir. No, hay no, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Yo, por ejemplo, para una de las, un, para una de las preguntas abiertas, este puesto por ejemplo where is the car que normalmente pues a veces se le olvida a uno dónde dónde estaciona uh -huh. Ajá, where is the car le puesto ya creo que ahí se dónde o dónde está estacionado sería como dónde está el carro creo uh -huh. where is the car ¿Dónde está estacionado tu carro, verdad? Ajá. ¿O dónde tienes estacionado tu carro? Pues ya ahí ya sería una pregunta, una respuesta abierta a la que se espera. Ya me tendría que decir una calle o una cuadra. Ajá, está bueno. Entonces mm. ponemos dónde, dónde está tu carro, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Y tengo esta otra abierta que es What are you doing? Que según tengo entendido, doing es como hacer, o sea, no es como el verbo hacer de que creo que es make o Mike, no sé cómo se pronuncia, que es, es como hacer con las manos, eso es de, de acción, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sería como qué estás haciendo, uh -huh. what are you doing? Ajá. Sí, está bien. Por ejemplo, ahí había uno que decía, what are, what, what are they doing? ¿Qué están haciendo Ajá. ellos? Ah, también. O podemos poner, ah, ella está bien, está, está lo mismo. Eh, sí, está bien así. ¿Qué están haciendo ellos o ella? Pero... Ajá, o ella. 
o podemos poner otra donde están estudiando. O pudiéramos decir ellos, ¿verdad? Y ponemos la otra palabra, estudio, estudiar, ¿verdad? Ajá. ¿Dónde están estudiando? Sería where, donde están. ¿Dónde están estudiando ellos? Vamos a notar. Where, uh, where they are studying. Uh -huh. Where they are studying. ¿Dónde están estudiando ellos? Ah, pero hay que hacerle la, la, el signo de pregunta. Ajá, siempre hay que ponérselo al final. ¿Cuántas lleva? Eh, ahorita solo tengo la que usted me dio y la otra que me dio dos. Tengo de, de pregunta abierta, sería. Ah, ya. Porque yo tengo seis, este, pero voy una, digamos, una abierta, una cerrada. No sé si después la, ah, ya sí, la voy a terminar bien. ordenando. Porque yo solo tengo dos abiertas, dos, dos cerradas y dos abiertas. Ah, ya. Vale, por ejemplo... Yo tengo, bueno, la que le decía, what are you doing? Eh, ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo es? La que le decía. Ajá. Ay, no, no sé. No va. Ah, no, aquí estamos todavía. Hola. Hola. Walter. Wow. entrar otra vez porque no me aparecía nada. No, yo me conecté y me aparecías tú. Cuando yo te quise hablar, eh, me sacó la plataforma. A, a, a mí también. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Let's move on to the next activity. For the next activity, we're going to be looking at the knowledge check. Listen to the audio, please. Listen, please. One. Are you wearing a coat? Two. What are you doing now? Three. What time is it? 
Four. Is it midnight? Five. What color is his T-shirt? Six. Are you from Thailand? One. Are you wearing a coat? Two. What are you doing now? Three. What time is it? Four. Is it midnight? Five. What color is his T-shirt? Six. Are you from Thailand? All right. So number one says, "Are you wearing a coat?" That is rising. Number two says. What are you doing now that is falling? Number three says, what time is it falling? Number four, is it midnight rising? Number five, what color is his t-shirt falling? Number six, are you from Thailand rising? Questions, 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 questions. Que significa rising and falling. Rising es que la intonación sube. Falling es que la intonación baja. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look at the following one, which is 5.5 lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will be able to ask and answer present continuous WH questions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between a boy and his mother, which illustrates WH questions in context. Al final de esta clase, ustedes serán capaces de consultar y responder preguntas interrogativas en presente continuo. Adicionalmente, ustedes practicarán una conversación entre un chico y su madre, con la cual se ilustra el uso de las preguntas interrogativas en contexto. Present continuous WH questions. Listen, please. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to ask and answer present continuous questions. Additionally, we will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation between a boy and his mother, which illustrates WH questions in context. Let's listen and practice. Hi mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Now, let's try to make sense of present continuous. All right, now we're going to practice the conversation in pairs. Everybody, please repeat. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? What are, what you, doing, are you doing, Steve? Doing, Steve? I'm, cooking. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? Why are you cooking Why now? Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. It's two o'clock in, in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. Well, I'm really hungry. Well, I'm really hungry. I'm really hungry. What are you making? What, what are, you are you making? Pizza. 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 
Mm, pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Now no, I'm, I'm getting, getting hungry. hungry. Let's eat. Let's All right. At this moment, uh, does anybody have any questions referring to this vocabulary? No. Does anybody have any questions about the pronunciation or meaning of the words? Hungry. Hungry, hambre. What many getting? I'm getting hungry. La frase dice, me está dando hambre. Ah. I'm getting hungry. I want the question. In what are you making? What I'm are you making? making ¿Qué estás cocinando? Let's eat now. Let's eat now. Comamos. All right. So what I want you to do is I want you to practice the conversation at least five times. Vamos a practicar la conversación por lo menos cinco veces. Let's go. Uh, me no me, creo que a mí no me metió el grupo. Ahorita lo ponemos. Um, a ver. ¿Quién comienza? Hola. Hola. Eh, no sé quién quiere empezar. No sé si la están viendo. Eh, que... ¿Qué número era? En la uno punto. Ahí la dijeron. La ven. ¿Quién comienza? Si quieren, vean ustedes dos, con quiera la. Bye. Dale. Uh, hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I am cooking. Why are you, what are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I am really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Okay. Hello, baby. Ahora voy yo. Sí, con. Yeah. Con ella, con Patty. Bye. Hi, mom. Yeah. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's ah, uh, perdón, that's. Eh, te falta. <clears throat> it's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Uh, pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I getting hungry. Let's let's eat. Okay. Bye. Ahora si quieren ustedes dos. Ajá. Empieza Jonathan.
Uh, si quiere otra vez, Pati, porque lo silenció el micrófono. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. Now, I'm getting hungry. Mm. Dale, comienza. Okay. okay. Hi, no, no sé si ya llegó. <laughs> Bye. Bye. No. Ah, pues empezar yeah. ya. Vaya. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I am cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I am really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. Now, I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Ahora no sé quién más. Pati, con él. Decí, hi, mom. Empezó ya. ¿Crees a Steve? Ajá. Se fue otra vez. Pues, a ver, pues decí, hi, mom. Hi, mom. ¿Qué estás haciendo, Steve? Estoy cocinando. Estoy cocinando. Why, uh, why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I am really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. No, now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Um, ya llego otra vez, no? No, no puede. Ahí está. Uh, yes. Ah, pues, hi, mom. <laughs> what are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Okay. Me pareció, ¿no? <risa> Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? No I'm cooking. <risa> sí, why, why are you cooking now? De sí. Right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let me have two volunteers. Two no. volunteers, all right? Roberto, one volunteer. Dinora, the other volunteer. Action. Uh, <laughs> uh, you can be, what's the guy's name? Pardon? Uh, Steve and Dinora can be mom. Okay. Okay. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I am cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you doing? What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now, I am getting hungry. Let's eat. All right. Excellent pronunciation. Good job. Now, what you're going to do, guys, is you're going to write a similar conversation. You can change, for example, hi, mom. You can say, hi, dad. Uh, what are you doing, Steve? You can say, what are you doing, Jose? I'm cooking. Oh, I am baking. Why are you baking now? It's 2 o'clock in the morning. Oh, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Oh, it's four o'clock in the morning. You can modify the conversation whichever way you want. All right? You have 10 minutes. 
10 minutes to write the conversation. You're going to write it here in the discussion forum. I'm gonna put you in pairs to complete the activity. Are you ready? Yes. Let's go. Cinco punto nueve en la que estamos practicando. Sí, sí. En abajo en la discussion forum vamos a hacer una conversación similar, cambiándole. Eh,
yo puse algo similar. Igual no yo, sé, algo similar. Porque como puede el tiempo. Uh -huh. Las diecinueve son las diez. All right, let's continue watching the video. Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Now, let's try to make sense of present continuous WH questions. We will typically use present continuous WH questions whenever we want to get information from an action that is in progress. For example, what are you doing right now? To form WH questions, we need to follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. If we look at the images on the screen, you can see a few WH questions. Let's analyze the first one. What's Victoria doing? We have a WH word, what? Then we have the verb to be is after that we have the subject Victoria after that we have the uh, verb in its ing form and then we have a question mark then of course you can see the question being answered she's sleeping now now we're going to listen to the rest of the questions and answers let's listen and repeat. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. <laughs> What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, 12 noon. What are James and Anne doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. 
Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Permsak doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Your city. What are you doing? It's. So I'm. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to look at the images again and write questions and answers about them. For example, what's Celia wearing? Celia's wearing a red suit. After you complete this assignment, please share your work in our discussion forums. For this activity, what you're going to do is you're going to come over here in the discussion forum and you're going to give me one question and one answer per He's picture. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you have nine pictures. So you're going to give me one question and one answer from the pictures. Do you understand? Yes. yes. Okay, understand. Yes. All right, you're gonna have 10 minutes to complete this activity. Ready, let's go. Hola. 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 Perdón, tenía que llamar a alguien importante. Sí. Quiero ver. Eh, seleccionamos la misma imagen entonces y hacemos la misma pregunta para que no nos confundamos tanto. ¿Qué le parece? Hola. Hola. Seleccionamos la misma imagen. Sí, de la imagen la tienes que hacer. Ajá, pero no las mismas preguntas, sino otras. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál vas a seleccionar tú? No, o sea, hay que seleccionar todas las imágenes, pero otras preguntas, no las que están ahí. Porque yo entendí que... Ajá, algo así. No entendí muy bien. O, o era de contestar las preguntas que están acá. ¿Verdad que no? Creo que me, no, me adelanté no. demasiado. Ajá, sería como preguntar, uh, ¿Is Victoria sleeping? Uh, yes, she is. Sí, está durmiendo. Me imagino yo, ¿verdad? Porque estamos utilizando el, el 
ING en las preguntas. Ajá. ¿No? No, no, no nos especificó si las quería cerrar. Yeah. Sí, bueno. Hay que aprovechar cuando nos especifican. <risa>
All right, all right. Is everybody finished? We're gonna go ahead and move on to the next activity. If you're not finished, that's going to be your homework. Let's look at the following one. Knowledge check, instructions, answer the questions about the pictures. Look at the first one, Victoria, Marcos, Sue and Tom, Celia, James and Anne, and Andre. The first one says, who's sleeping now? Victoria is sleeping now. That's right, Victoria is sleeping now. What's Marcos wearing? 